Medical marijuana, uh, according to the Department of Health, uh, over 100,000 medical marijuana cards have been issued uh, as of last year. Um, according to federal law, the use of medical marijuana disqualifies or makes uh, the possession of firearms or the attempt to purchase firearms illegal. Are you uploading the medical marijuana card information from the Department of Health into PICS? And how are no, you handling it? We are not. No, we don't have access to the Department of Health database for that purpose. You have mental health, you have access to mental health records though? Y yeah, mental health records are submitted to us by the counties, that's correct. Why don't you have the, the medical marijuana information? That's the province of the Department of Health. They would have to give us access to that information. Do you agree it's an f a f offense to own or attempt to purchase firearms having a medical marijuana card? It's a federal prohibitor. And also uh, under state and federal law, the possession of firearms would, would also be an offense? That's correct. Uh, under, not under state law, under federal law. Federal, and also, it, uh, federal law says that if you do become a user of marijuana, you have to, um, within a reasonable amount of time, and not to exceed 60 days, dispose of your firearms? There's, there's a one-year, uh, unlawful drug user index is a one-year prohibition from the time of the inference of use. So is there any, any um, uh, are you contemplating any way of integrating the, um, the medical marijuana cards with the PIC system? Do you have any request to do that? I think that would be the province of the Department of Health to give us access. But if they don't, that does not mean that, that the people who are attempting to purchase the firearms are not in violation of federal law. Correct. The 4473, which is the federal form, was changed to reflect the medical marijuana prohibition. So I forget which number question it is on the 4473. It actually, it has to do with drug use, and it actually parenthetically indicates that, you know, the use of medical marijuana um, or the possession of a medical marijuana card does not does not ameliorate the prohibition. That's right. In fact, it says that it, it is still an unlawful, an unlawful use of uh, control, controlled substance one. So correct. I'm a little concerned that there hasn't been integration, and mm -hmm. you know, if there was a lot of discussion about PICS, why we're not including um, the medical marijuana cards into the the PIC system? Yeah. Um, simply, the Department of Health would have to agree to give us access. Uh, but it is the department, just to clarify, is the Department of Health that's giving you the mental health no. information? No. No, the mental health, uh, they come to us via an Act 77 form. The county administrator or the county mental health administrator is responsible to collect that data, and they submit it on an Act 77 form to us, either electronically or, or via a web app. So there's no single database for mental health information in the Commonwealth but for PICS, and, and so that comes directly. Each county is responsible to submit their own data. And so I can assume that the Pennsylvania State Police haven't notified the 100,000 medical marijuana card holders that they're, they are not, they are prohibited from owning or possessing or purchasing firearms? That, that's correct. We don't know who they are. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your service.